For sure. I mean, considering the circumstances, how hard we played last night, how tired the guys were tonight, how we started the game off, um, was it 11 to one at the first time out or whatever. Uh, this is a game, and I told the group this, this is a game three weeks ago, we would have just let go of the rope and, um, you know, probably would have gotten the, the, it would have been a tough <laughs> finish for sure. But we fought, we found combinations of guys who are playing well together, uh, particularly Alpi and Seawood. I was, I was happy to see those guys play well together. Um, and we cut it to, we had, it was like six with three minutes to go. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of our group and the fight is like you're, like you're saying is important and, uh, we need to continue it. Together, obviously, having not having Adams out there helps a little bit with that. But what about that pairing of so? Uh, the inside outside threat, uh, Alpi was doing a great job of posting up and finishing in, in inside, but also making plays for others. How many assists did he end up with? Yeah, six. He ended up with six assists. So when we had Josh out there, um, he became, well, Alpi became the guy who we could give the ball to and would make plays for others. So, um, Christian with his shooting ability, stretching the floor and Alpi with his inside play, uh, worked pretty well tonight. That's it's good because that's something we could build on. The second unit, a little bit, Yeah, I mean, very rare that they don't come together and, and give us a boost. And um, they earn the minutes that they get. And it'd be easy to just roll with the starters and give those guys a little bite of the apple. But they deserve, you know, they all got 20 plus minutes tonight. And they earned it. They played so well. They played well together. And that's what we need from that group, especially when we had guys play long, hard, physical minutes last night. Um, that's what a team is about, have, especially in a back-to-back -back situation, having those guys do what they did tonight. When you get the your pass foul on Brooks, I was thinking we were trying to get on the foul earlier than that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to steal foul in that situation. So we're trying to go for the steal. And if we can't get the steal, we foul right away. We weren't super organized on that. We've gone over it three or four times in practice, but, um, you know, we just have to continue to do that. That's one of those things that, you know, <laughs> you just have to do over and over and over again, then you get. What was the last that you did to close the game with Brooks and the start? Um, I wanted the spacing with Brooks uh, without uh, Adams out there. Uh, Tice, who was doing an admirable job against him, uh, we could kind of go smaller. And, uh, and leave Tice out and put Armani in and, um, then DJ with, uh, with the basketball. Josh had played a long stretch. Alpi had played a long stretch and, uh, just wanted to go with that group. And they, they were the group who cut it to six. So I was happy with them. Coach, given the fact that you guys did play a long game against the Bucks last night, do you almost expect a slower pace, you know, in these kind of situations? Uh, yes and no. Um, we always want to play fast, and that's got to be our game plan, especially against a good team like Memphis, who really has a good half-court defense. And if you play slow against them, they are, that's to their advantage. So, yes, um, we expected to be a little bit slower as a result of last night, but no, because the way to – attack Memphis and the way to potentially beat them is to play fast. How did you think Josh handled the extended minutes as the primary ball handler? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, he, I, he has things to learn, but he's aggressive. His shot selection was good. He was getting to the rim. He was getting us organized. He can do a better job of getting us organized at times, but uh, for a, 20 year old, <laughs> he, uh, 
he, he's learning and, and that's, that's part of it. He's never really had this load and uh, every opportunity that he gets to get extended minutes and be the one trying to get guys in the right spots and trying to get the ball into Alpi in the post and trying to, he was out there with Alpi and C. Wood and trying to balance that where you're trying to get Alpi the ball in the post or C. Wood the ball off little pin downs or pick and rolls. It can be a little daunting and he handled it well. Coach, in the fourth quarter, you played two games in a row. You, you're sure of being much fatigue may have come into this as y'all made your way back. That don't take a lot out of, out of the team anyway to try to overcome that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, fatigue was a factor from right from the start for us. I just felt it with our group. So I tried to sub liberally and uh, just try to mix and match and try to find a group. But yeah, down the stretch, uh, the fatigue definitely did come into play. And um, we fought and and did a good job based on coming in from Milwaukee and, and uh, Memphis had a day off yesterday. So uh, I'm proud of my group. Yep.